how did you get started in the business? I was uh, actually doing set design in college, and I was recruited to be in a play in school at Carnegie Mellon University, which is a professional theater school. And then I went to New York after there and started working. Now, what helps you keep focused while you're developing a character? Uh, paycheck. That sounds good to me. That helps me keep focused. Also, well, no, the, you know, once you commit to a job, it just it's it's the only thing I've ever really known how to focus on as a profession. Well, actually, I've been doing some other things too, but it's just instinctual for me. I, I kind of have to do it, and I have to I have to work at it until I feel like I'm going to be the best I could possibly be, and hopefully you know better than the next guy that's trying to get the same part so for me it's a lot it's almost like sports sometimes I um, kinda like Larry Bird works on foul shots or used to you know you you gotta put in more hours I feel like than than you think the next guy is doing and just because you want to be that much more prepared it's all about prep a lot of its preparation for me you know for me some people don't have to work that hard I, I got, I don't work as hard as much anymore, but in the old days I just used to, you know, just uh, lock myself in a room until I knew the material backwards and forwards. And so what advice do you have young artists when they go into auditions? What's one of the things that you really try to do when you walk in? Be prepared. Be really, really prepared. Because the more prepared you are, then the more comfortable you are. You're not, you're going to be nervous no matter what and you want the nerves to work with you and for you as opposed to against you. It's a fine line. And you, you'll, you'll allow them to work with you if you're really, really prepared. If you're not, they could be a, your enemy. So just, you can't be prepared enough. And memorizing, if you want to tell an actor about memorizing, memorizing, real memorization is when you could, if, if, if there was a fire, you could count from one to a hundred. You could. Anybody could. That's real memorization. So when you go into a room, an audition, it's not real energy. It's not. It's got to be like extreme energy, like like there's an earthquake. So in that situation, if you could say the alphabet or whatever, that's when you're memorized. Not. Oh my God! Something's different here and what are the words you don't have it memorized if you if if you're in that situation so when you're getting ready to 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 win that role that's the kind of readiness you have to be in the same as an athlete would when they're preparing for the olympics there's no room for guesswork you need to be really really prepared and then you could throw it all away you know and if you don't have the time to do that because it's a last minute thing that's a whole other question. <laughs> Hi, this is Paul Ben Victor for ExploreTalent.com. Nice to see you.